at some point. Okay. So essentially, this is the woman who rented a car. She basically said the guy who's snitching now, his name is Big Rob. Some people call him Big Rob, but his name is Robert Allen. Um, he apparently told her, like, yo, I'm sorry, like, that all this stuff happened because I guess he's also apologizing that the fact that they used the car to go do a robbery that turned into a murder. You get what I mean? Essentially, what's happening now is these things are cooked. So they put out this deposition real quick. And, and let me see if I can pull, pull up the results of it. They wanted Drake to come in. They wanted Drake to come in, a bunch of other people. Um, yeah, let me just leave it at that. But the judge actually granted a motion to say, yo, we actually don't need Drake to come in. The reason why, I told y'all before, Drake hired a pretty good lawyer. And, um, uh, uh, you know, the lawyer for Drake, which is the guy who represents Kodak Black on everything, his name is, um, I think it's Cohen. Uh, I forgot what, exactly what his full name is. Oh, Bradford Cohen, right? He basically told Corey that Drake has no relevant information to the case. None of the defendants knew. And I don't know if you've seen this, this clip, which was kind of hilarious. People were, you know, kind of memeing it a little bit. <clears throat> so they're asking a guy who's snitching if he knows Drake, right? They're like, yo, bro, you killed, like, you admitting you killed this guy or you're with the plot. Did you know Drake, right? And this is what he says. They're not only asking if he knows Drake. They're asking if he knows a few other people. Let's see. Drake. Wait, let me make sure y'all could hear. Do you even know Drake? Not personally, no. Okay. Personally or otherwise through even middle people? No. You know anybody in Toronto? No. Do you know any of the names like Slump God or DJ Acomedis or any of those names? No. Did she just call me DJ Acomedis? Yo, I know y'all might think I'm offended, but I might switch my name to that. DJ Akameas? That's fire. Fire name. DJ Akameas? That's fire. Nah, that's low-key fire, dog. You even know Drake? Not personally, no. Okay. Personally or otherwise through even middle people? No. You know anybody in Toronto? No. Do you know any of the names like Slump God or DJ Acomedis or any of those names? No. <laughs> Thank God they pronounced my name wrong. Imagine imagine if if, if the, the defense attorney was like, no, no, she meant DJ Academics. And he'd be like, yo. <laughs> if you don't know, this nigga, his last name is Allen. You know what my last name is? <laughs> imagine him be like, yo. Big Ack? Oh, that's my nigga. We got the same last name. Thank God he ain't say some shit like that. <laughs> Thank God. You know what I mean? You know, I knew he was going to tell it all, but at least he going to tell the truth. He ain't going to just tell a lie. Appreciate you, brother. Did anybody connected with Drake that you're aware of hire you to do the crime of killing and robbing the victim on June 18th, 2018? No. How about Mr. Boatwright? Did anybody connected with Drake hire Mr. Boatwright to do this crime? No. How about Mr. Newsom? Did anybody connected with Drake hire Mr. Newsom to do this crime? No. How about Mr. Williams? Did anybody hire Mr. Williams by Drake's team to do this crime? No. Yes. You even okay. So pretty much that's really all like the 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 court need to hear and also. The fact that there has been no other substantiating evidence that points that Drake, other than like some social media posts, that points that Drake put a hit on this guy or was responsible for the death or this particular incident. So the judge granted that Drake does not got to show up, right? Um, and if this lawyer wants to bring, which is his name, this guy's a hack. His name is Mauricio Padilla. If he wants to try to, and by the way, let me tell you how corrupt the uh, criminal justice system is. This guy has probably wasted maybe a hundred thousand dollars in, you know, Florida state funds and Florida, you know, a, a Florida tax paying citizen funds in trying to ascertain 
the the attention or the service or the the appearance of people like Drake, myself, um, Joe Budden, Takeoff, who's now deceased, Quavo, Offset, Ski Master, Slump God. Uh, they've even thrown in people like Top Five. They've thrown in. You know, every and anybody who X has even ever traded words with in his entire life. And unfortunately, this court, which at first, you know, is trying to hear this this case, but there is a huge social media element to it. They granted all of these things. So the court granted probably maybe a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand dollars in it being wasted in trying to help the defense attorney bring in people to help his client beat this case. But now when someone responds, which is Drake, essentially the same thing is said, yo, y'all don't even have enough proof on Drake, which tells me that the state of Florida have wasted money in them. Yo, they try to go out to Drake. They try to serve Drake about 30 times. This is people sitting out in their cars. Yo, we're going to get Drake. Yo, we got to see Drake. We got like, they're stalking him. Now, Drake is probably trying to get served for many different things. But still, you know, just because like he's a very popular guy. What I'm trying to say is that somebody's paying for this. These guys are fucking broke. The guys who did the murder, they, they murdered somebody for $50,000. Just think, of, just, just put this in hindsight. They murdered somebody for $50,000. But the state of Florida, because, and this is why I always tell y'all about when y'all be talking shit about the United States. We live in the fucking best country ever. The nigga killed some, these four bums killed somebody for $50,000. But when they get locked up and they're about to go to trial, they get to allocate and use hundreds of thousands of dollars in state resources to try to prove their innocence. Just think about how ridiculous that sounds. You killed a nigga for 50000 Yet the state of Florida gives you, like, uh, I haven't come up with a, 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 a final number on it, but it's hundreds of thousands of dollars that they give you because they don't want to, they don't want later on you say we didn't have a fair trial. So they allocate it here. Here is $10,000 to go serve Drake. Here is $40,000 to go serve the Migos. Here is this amount of thousand to go serve Joe Budden. Here is this amount of, they have gotten this consistently. You tell me that, number one, and that's all, you know, not to go into some of the Tate stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, if y'all going to do some crime, you might as well do it here. That doesn't even make sense. These bums killed niggas for $50,000. They shouldn't even be allowed most of this shit. But we live in America. You are allowed and afforded certain rights. So you could run up taxpayers, Hard earning, uh, hard earning, hard working taxpayers' money or what they paid in tax through the courts because now you're trying to get free when in reality, when you were free, you were just trying to rob a nigga for $50,000. Just think about it, man. Stupid shit, okay? Um, yeah, so big L for th this guy, Mauricio Padilla. Padilla, you're a fucking bum. Um, your client's going to jail for life, okay? And you know why he's going to go to jail for life? He was the ringleader. He thought of all this shit. He was the one doling out the money. He's the guy who's responsible for all this shit. Everybody expressed a little bit of doubt. He was the one calling everybody pussy and telling them, let's go rob a guy and then eventually turn to a murder. Okay, here's the thing. He didn't get out the car. And I'm surprised he didn't try to flip on his other co-defendants because he didn't get out the car. Right. Because he looked X in the eyes. So the guy, the guy, Dietrich Williams, let me, tell, let me show you how he fucking looks. OK. Let me show you how he looks. So this Dietrich Williams motherfucker right here. Let me show you. XXX Tentacion trial. This. Okay, okay, so. Another day of. Let me, let me show you this complete punk. Let me see if I can show you uh, the whole thing. All right. This is, let me show you. And by the way, mad people pointing them out today again in trial. Like, yo, everybody, the law. everybody's pointing the nigga out, bro. This is how it goes. Niggas point people out when you go to trial. Yes. Let me see if I can find it. This is her. Okay. So before that, actually, I wanted 
two days ago. Here we go. I'm gonna show you show these niggas. So this is the last day the snitch was on the um the thing. Then they brought in the car. Okay, okay. So this nigga right here, he's Dietrich Williams. This bum right here. You're gonna see somebody else point his ass out again. One second. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I can't get a better look at it. Oh, here we go. I see somebody over the defense table. Sorry. I just want you to look at him. And the only reason I want you to look at him is, is um, the nigga who, whose lawyer is doing all the shenanigans, he was too pussy to jump out of the car himself because X looked him in the eye. So X looked the nigga in the eye. Remember, remember in the video? Remember in the video? XXXTentacion, um, Rivas. The nigga he looks in the eye right here. This bum ass nigga right here. You're gonna see you're gonna see X like look him in the eye. Watch. Look. You see them walking in? So so this little this bitch ass nigga right here is, is um Diedrick Williams. And right when he's passing X, you're gonna see X kinda kinda look at him real quick. He looks at X. You're gonna see X right here. And X looks at him right here. Bingo. X looks at him. And he's the one who planned this whole shit. He had these bitch ass other whole ass niggas. This nigga, this fat nigga back here who's snitching, didn't want to get in the fucking car, didn't want to do it because he knew he was caught on surveillance. This nigga told everybody, y'all a pussy if y'all don't do it. And then when it when it went down, he didn't hop out the car. He was the driver. You get what I mean? Another reason why is why you can't let niggas send you off on dummy missions. X look this nigga right in the eye. If you such a killer, you such you like that nigga, you get out and go do that shit, nigga. But what did the two bitch ass niggas who walked in here? The the fat nigga and this other nigga, they both stayed in the car. They both stayed in the car. Y'all looked him in the eye. If y'all that if y'all like that, y'all go get that money from him. Y'all look him in the eyes when you take his life. No, they sent the other two dumb ass niggas to do it. You feel me? So this nigga right here is the is Dietrich Williams. That's what you keep hearing his name. His lawyer is the fucking hack who keeps saying, oh, let's get Drake in here. Drake not going in there, you dumbass nigga. Nobody's going in there. You have represented a client who just need to go burn in hell. That's it. This guy's a piece of shit. Yeah. If you ever All see right. this nigga in court, these are the two dummies right here who got sent off on a dummy mission. This this clown and this clown, they're the ones. I think this this guy might have been. Yeah, fuck your little turtleneck, nigga. I think this is the nigga who pulled the trigger. Dietrich Williams looking stupid all day. This is how he looks. We don't care what suit you have, nigga. Thirteen face tats, nigga, looking guilty as a motherfucker. Can't look your co-defendants in the eye because you ain't get out the car, nigga. And you can say, well, I told him to rob him, but I ain't tell him to shoot him. You fucking plan this shit, nigga. You are the reason this shit happened. And this is why you're going to get the harshest sentence. And this clown-ass lawyer who's sitting to your right, who constantly keeps saying, oh, let's talk to DJ Academics. Fuck you, niggas, man. You ain't talking to shit. It's TikTok. You ain't catching me. I ain't coming in there, period. Drake ain't coming there, period. Good luck, nigga. Burn in hell. That's about it, all right? That's it. See them niggas who like, oh, let's get academics in here. I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know. I, 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 I got amnesia. I'm blind. I don't know. I don't know what y'all niggas is talking about. Fuck you, nigga, and burn in hell. When you get sentenced, nigga, I'm gonna show up to you the fucking jail, the fucking prison you're at, nigga, and I wanna have a good conversation with you when you're locked the fuck up. I don't know why the fuck, like, nigga, y'all niggas don't even wanna talk to me, nigga. I would make sure y'all niggas never get out. Period. Fuck is up with y'all dumbass things. All four of you clowns. Even the niggas snitching, I don't like. You know why? Because if all four of you dumbass niggas didn't link up on a dumbass dummy mission that fucking day, we would have still had one of the fucking greatest entertainers of our life. I would have still had a real friend still on this earth. But you dumbass niggas, I can't like I can't wait to sentence it, nigga. Not only am I gonna be streaming it, I'm gonna be celebrating it. Call me Charleston White, call me anything you want. 
these four dumb ass niggas. And it's only a shame because this fat nigga who's snitching, this is what supposedly is going to happen. They're saying that he's going to get between five and 10 years. And he's been snitching so good, he might get five. Here's the thing. X been dead five years. It's a possibility that that nigga is going to walk out of jail because he snitched. And yes, he could play the role of, oh, yeah, I want to do it, whatever, whatever. I think all four of you clowns are guilty. All right, man. This whole, let me tell you this. And for all the X, X fans out there, and for all the people who did love X or love his music, man, this shit feel personal, man. This shit, it, like... I kid you not, I watched a lot of evidence being given out when it came to, like, the Nipsey trial, and I was just like, okay. But this shit right here is a stupid, dumb mission that I seen four niggas embark on. If you look at this nigga, I, I, I'm going to find his name. I think this is the, the um, I think this is the Boatwright nigga. I think this is, this might be the Newsome nigga. If you look at his face, this nigga's whole face, the whole trial has been, yo, why am I here? Please have mercy on me. Your, this was not the look on your face when you were masked up pointing a fucking gun at X and his uncle. You're going to burn, nigga. And this nigga with the turtleneck, nigga, hopefully you hang yourself, nigga, okay? Listen, do us all a favor. You you can make this real. I don't know. This might be TOS. Let me just chill. <laughs> let me just chill, man. All right, man. Let me move on from this fucking conversation. Bitch ass niggas, man. All right, man.